Yes, we do give thanks for life and the mighty life given. and we give thanks for all good things around us. I send from Zion above. So we praise for I praise for I for his divine love, his perfect love, his wonderful love, definitely. We do glorify this wonderful moment as we are here with you live on Calabash tele Television. Um, definitely we are here with you doing the, the, the food of seven today and today is basically the 18th of August. That's one day after the, the celebration of the born day of Marcus Mosiah Gavi. Right, so we give thanks also for this moment as we are live again and we are with you. And we give thanks for all those people who are here with us already on our YouTube channel. It's Dolly World, give thanks. And also my other brethren there said good afternoon, but I mean it's blessed love. Give thanks, Celestia Chapel. Glorify all those people who have already tuned in with us and we do give thanks for this divine opportunity that we could be with you once more. And definitely as this night is going to have a, a, a wonderful one hour program as you know as as we speaking we do have a live a live celebration service going on for the honorable prophet marcus mosiah gavi right here in saint lucia and we do have honorable priest isaac there with us that is that is also going to be giving a live lecture um on the 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 real marcus gavi as we speaking right now that's in Bakara in castries so today we're going to look at the whole aspect of self-confidence and you know and self-love because we are in a in a in a time whereby people are are very insecure and insecure in the realms that people tend to to instead of leading themselves they they tend to follow and because of a lack of of that self confidence understanding that the true purpose and the true the true values as a man or as a woman what has happened specifically is that as a people we have not been able to fully fully embraced our culture our culture of of healing our culture of of um eradicating ourselves you know when it comes eradicating disease from ourselves because at the end of the day many of the conditions that we have today and yesterday and the day before you know our conditions they have not changed per se you know the thing that the things that have changed right now is the quantity of what we refer to as environmental intoxicants within the environment so when it comes to the whole aspect of of our hygiene how we take care of ourselves how we love ourselves how we eat how we drink how we think that's what has fundamentally changed we have we have actually lost our our culture and then all what we what, what we have be, what, what we have become now right what we have become now specifically we have become followers and then we have become fashionable and stylish but yet still we have forgotten our ancient culture the ancient culture of how we're supposed to take care of ourselves how we're supposed to eat how we're supposed to drink how we're supposed to think all these things there we have actually lost it you know so at the end of the day when it comes to night as a people you know we must really try to embrace ourselves love ourselves be confident right in the victory because i mean as marcus gavi said without co without confidence you are twice defeated even before you start right and with confidence you are victorious even before you start the race so we give thanks to victory again you know marcus gavi win them you know victory again so give thanks tonight as we are going to look at the realms of self-confidence meaning that how it is that we could begin to actually be confident in what we do blessed love um adam alfred give thanks give thanks for being the first life tonight you know how is it that we're going to be confident in the things that we do how is it that we're going to be um um self-loving you know the only way is for the aspect of knowledge if someone doesn't know right they'll be they won't be confident i mean if you don't know um, the answer to a question and, and, and you, you, you wouldn't raise your hand, you'd raise your hand like this if they ask a question, what is the color of, of the sky? You don't know, so you, you uh, if you know, you raise up your hands quickly and you come and, and, and you speak out loud, right? Because you're full of confidence. So we are in, in a world whereby when it comes to the level of confidence we have in ourselves, when it comes to the, the level of self-love we have, these things they have, have severely deteriorated, meaning that we don't even trust what our ancestors have actually passed on to us when it comes to the whole realms of how do we eat and drink and think and how is it that we actually take care of our everyday troubles. You know, because at the end of the day when it comes to night, the majority of conditions that people actually die from today, the great majority of them, the, 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 the prostate cancers, the breast cancers, the diabetes, the coronary artery disease, the, 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 the high blood pressure, you know, all these different conditions that people die from today are what you call preventable conditions. They are, they are called um, non-communicable chronic illnesses. So they are what you call lifestyle illnesses. So when, it is, when, when we really examine that, because of the lack of confidence we have in ourselves, and that relates to the lack of confidence we have in what our ancestors 
that our ancestors have actually passed on to us. We tend to just grab at anything. As they say, a drowning man would catch at a straw. When a man is drowning, he'll try and hold the water to, to pull up himself. Probably if you just take a deep breath and fill up his lungs with air, he can float. You know, but at the end of the day, what, what has happened um, specifically is that we are living in a time, in, a, in, a, in an epoch, right? Uh, an etapa whereby people are, are so lacking of self-esteem and self-reliance and self-love and self-confidence. These things, they are so lacking that people who do anything whatsoever to try to actually save themselves. Imagine that you, you, you're not well and you go to the doctor and the doctor says you have to drink a, a particular pill for the rest of your life. Meaning that you have to take this thing every day, every day, every day for the rest of your life. Right? As we always say, when you do that, it is just the same as if you go to a mechanic and you have a gas leak or you have a, an oil leak or you have some type of thing in your vehicle. And then this, 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 this mechanic is telling you that you have to, every day, you have to put um, a liter of water. You know, every, every time you stop, you have to open your radiator and put water. Three times a day, you have to refill your, radi your, I mean, your radiator, have a leak. Right? So either you replace the radiator or you block the leak. You cannot come and tell me that every day, three times a day, I have to put water or coolant in my radiator. No. That means that you'll be spending lots of money on, your, on, on water or coolant and also you'll be spending plenty money because you are actually risking that your engine or your head gasket just blows off. Why? Because three times a day, you have to put water. Right? Or you could even burn yourself. You open up the, the, the radiator and pew, you just burn yourself. Why? Because we are looking for shortcuts, right? We are not taking, we are not looking at, uh, looking at the, 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 the condition or, or we've, we've not diagnosed the problem. Pro we've diagnosed the problem, but yet still, the, the way that we choose to actually deal with the problem is utterly ridiculous because you're going to tell me that my vehicle's radiator is actually leaking and what I have to do is to uh, literally um, put water in my vehicle three times a day and I'm supposed to be happy with that. Right? So, when you say, you say, I mean, you must be laughing and saying, boy, no mechanic could never tell me that. But the body mechanic, the doctors, right? The body mechanic, the doctors, right? The body mechanic, the doctors, they will tell you that you have to, you, you, you have heart disease, your cholesterol is high. Instead of just telling you, stop eating flesh, go on a plant based diet. Avoid synthetic oils, no butter, no fried foods, no starchy, starchy foods. They, they will tell you, well, look, you're going to have to be on this Lipitor or, or this statin drug for the rest of your life. Every single day, two capsules or two tablets, you know, once or twice a day. And the solution is very simple. The solution is just stop eating flesh. Right? Stop the pork, stop the beef, stop the cheese, stop the milk, stop the yogurt, stop these things. But yet still someone will tell you, well, priest, right? Okay, all right. Um, um, my pressure is high or my, or my sugar is high. What should I do? You tell them, um, okay. But, well, if your sugar is high, you have to, you know, you, right now you must start to exercise. Exercise, brethren. Exercise. Take a time out and, you know, do about the 45 minutes of brisk exercise every single day. Nah, but I don't have time. I have to get up early to go to work and... You know, the person is coming with a problem, you know. And then you are giving them a very, a very simple solution whereby they're supposed to demonstrate or, or they're supposed to show a level of, yes, Dian, blessed love, blessed love, give thanks, welcome. Well, they're supposed to actually demonstrate, they're supposed to show the level of comprehension, understanding, self-confidence, self-reliance to know where they're going to rely on themselves. And they are confident that they are going to do good. Why? Because they are, they are doing it for self. So, why is it that someone would have to convince you, literally, convince you to say, well, okay, well, you have to exercise once a day or twice a day, right? Or you have to, to, to take a little 45-minute brisk walk, huh? or you have to stop eating cheese. Oh, but what I'm going to eat, where? Well, I cannot eat cheese, I cannot drink milk, I cannot eat pork, uh, what am I supposed to eat? What, what, what am I supposed to eat? You know, so then... Instead of beginning to actually look at the positives, the way forward, what you could actually do to uplift yourself, immediately you go into these whole realms of poor me and begin to actually look for all types of problems instead of trying to look for solutions. When it comes to the whole aspect of self-confidence, we have to be confident in our knowledge that our ancestors have 
our ancestors have passed on to us. And that knowledge is stored right in, in, our, in our genetic memory bank. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Right, so then, when it, really, when, when, when it is that we really, when we, when we really examine it and see where it is that we are going and what we choose to accept, what we choose to accept as a people, I mean, definitely, our level of self-love is actually gone. G-O-N-E, gone. Right, so, we do give thanks for life and a mighty life given. We give thanks, even if, you know, we, 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 we started... You know, a bit um, tardy today. We're still going to go on the 7 o'clock hour and take the intercession and pay some bills, as they would say. Um, and then afterwards, we're definitely going to continue with, with our live broadcast today, The Food of Seven. We do give thanks for life and a mighty life. Give a blessed love. <laughs>
right? I mean, you're going to see Kotze Kaltel, you're going to see many, many of uh, the Lord Pakal and all these people there with strong, strong, strong African features. So as black supremacy is not what you would, what you would refer to as white supremacy, right? That is, white supremacy is like oppression and, 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 and destruction and, 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 and bombing and killing and nuclear weapon. No, black supremacy is righteousness of salvation. Right? It's, it's nothing to do with, with, with um, actually uh, suppressing a man. No, it's actually uplifting yourself and then uplifting other people. Right? So it's love to one and all. We don't deal with no partiality. We love, love, love. Love is the key, the golden key, the only key to open up Zion door. Yes, Prophet pa yes, um, Prince Patrick on Facebook. Blessed love, give thanks, my Lord, for being with us, definitely. Uh -huh. now, would, would it be an honor to add to the institution group on Facebook? Who, honorable, it would be an honor to add to the institution group on Facebook. I don't know about, about, about exactly what you're talking about there, honorable. You know, but what I'm saying though is that our self-confidence, when it comes to ourselves, we we accept anything, anything, anything whatsoever. Why? Because we are, we have lost, we are lost, we are wandering, we we wanderers, wandering while in the wilderness, and we do anything whatsoever. And anyone say any foolishness, and you accept it. Mm -hmm. When you look at the whole aspect of things, remember we were talking about you have a, a car with a leak in the radiator and you go to the mechanic and the mechanic said, well, look, what you're going to have to do is going to put water every times a day in this radiator. So, so to you make sure that even if it leaks, then you, you know, you could still have some water in the radiator. You will overheat. All right. So then you wouldn't do that. You would you tell him, man, man, just, just stick up the radiator, man, man fix up the radiator, man. Just block the hole or you just buy a new radiator. Right. But if your blood sugar levels is high, the doctor will tell you take a, a, a pill 15 minutes before every meal, three times a day. Your blood pressure is high. You're going to be taking two or three tablets three times a day. Your cholesterol is high. You're going to take one or two tablets three times a day. And yet still you're not going to go to the source of the problem and see how you're going to eradicate that condition. That's what I refer to insanity. You are repeating that the same action over and over and over and over and over and over again and you're expecting a different result. So... Because of our lack of self-love, self-reliance, and self-confidence, if you're confident in what we know has been right, I mean, come on. If your cholesterol is high, the first step is that the only place you get cholesterol is from animal products. So your first step is to actually stop all animal products, cut it out from your physical structure. If you cut out animal products from your physical structure, immediately, that's it, your cholesterol starts going down. Ching, 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 ching. Right? If it is that you're diabetic, you, you cut out the starches. Right, your sugar uh, in your, your your white flour, white rice, cheese, milk, alcohol, all these different things. You begin to exercise. You drink some bitter herbs. Right, you drink some cocoa tea. Right, you 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 begin to literally take care of yourself. Right, so how it is that how it is that you're going to begin to change a lifestyle disease by not changing your lifestyle? All you're going to be doing now is taking a pill three times a day or taking an injection on your backside and your, on your thigh. And when all your backside full of holes, all your thighs full of holes, all these different things full of holes, you, you, you can't even find a, a spot on your physical structure to inject your insulin in your blood. Right? So it is very important that we have that confidence in ourselves. We have confidence in the knowledge of the ancestors and we begin to show that level of self-reliance, self-love, whereby we could begin to implement specific strategies to naturally eradicate our conditions. Take for example that. Very simple. If you look at, let me see what K. Joe is saying. Okay, all right. Blessed love, honorable priest. I, I name is Prophet Jack Kenya, currently residing in, in NYC. I appreciate love, the man, workmanship, black supremacy, love. Give thanks, honorable. Love, love, love. How many books has brother made? Well, I have, a, I have about five books. Um, Diane, okay, that's so true. Oh, give thanks. Blessed love. So, when you look at the whole aspect of cancer, cancer, I'm talking about cancer. Cancer, cancer, all right. Now, cancer is a disease that occurs even sub, subcellular. All right, so I'm saying subcellular, meaning that, all right, meaning that to see subcellular you need like an electron microscope right you, you you cannot visualize subcellular with an ordinary microscope a light microscope no you have to get you have to go more than a thousand times bigger magnification all right so the the disease cancer begins to attack us on a subcellular basis meaning that meaning that that the disease cancer begins through your organelles 
within the organelles, within your cell itself. So, within the cell, the human cells, not the telephone, not, not the cell phone. I'm talking about the human cell, the cell. Within the cell, you have what you call, okay, your physical structure, you call it, you are an organism. Okay, an organism. An organism because you are made up of organs. Your eyes, your tongue, your teeth, your ears, your heart, your lungs, your kidneys, your liver, your gallbladder, your testicles, your ovaries, your womb, or your spleen, your pancreas, your thyroid, your thymus, your bones, your muscles. You have organs actually make up your physical structure. That's why they call you an organism. Now, every single cell, although it is microscopic, meaning that you need a microscope to actually see it, you need to enlarge it a hundred times, a thousand times, just to be able to see it. So you need a microscope to see something that is microscopic. All right. Now, you are, we are looking at cancer. Not just from a cellular level, but from a subcellular level. That means that your whole can the whole action of the cancer naturally begins when you have what you call genetic damage. When the your, your, the genes of your DNA, your genes that that is within your DNA, within your nucleus, right? Your nucleotides. So your nucleus is the is the is the central is the control center of your cell. The cell, right? Which is microscopic, that means that you, are, okay, on my skin, I have millions of cells, all right, but if I do that, cells fall off, okay, but I'm not seeing that one single cell. So if I see, if I have to see one single cell, if I scrape up like this, and I put on a microscope, I have to actually magnify it a hundred, a thousand times just to be able to see that skin cell. I'm gonna see the carotene and everything, the cell membrane and everything. Now, within that cell, you have what you refer to as your organelles. What are your organelles? Your organelles are the same way that your physical structure, right, is like a, a combination of different organs that come together to perform a function. So while I'm speaking, yes, I'm speaking, yes, right, my tongue is an organ. It's actually assisting. My muscles are moving Air is actually coming out of my lungs. I'm breathing out. It's going right over the vocal cords and creating the song of the speech. So you have that 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 synchronous synchronicity, whereby you have that movement of your physical structure to create a particular action. So the same way with your cells, your cells, even if they are microscopic, they have what you call organelles, not organs. They have organelles that are smaller than the cell because they are in the cell, right? So you have like your, your nucleus is what you call the control center of your cell, the brain. That's where all your genetic material is stored. That's where all the erections to what the cell must do actually comes from. Okay, pr produce insulin or produce estrogen, produce testosterone, produce sweat, produce saliva, whatever it is. All these things actually come from your nucleus of your cell. Very important. Why? Because it contains genetic, genetic information. Your chromosomes, your DNA. Now, very important. Extremely important. Extremely, extremely important. When it is that we actually analyze the whole aspect of cancer, cancer begins from what they call a genetic mutation, whereby your DNA has mutated. Something has actually gone wrong. It is being affected specifically by some type of thing. Probably a chemical. Probably uh, too much stress hormones. Probably you got knocked on that spot several times. So that cell got damaged. So a piece of the DNA is gone. So when it's multiplying, you have an abnormal cell that just refuses to die. So then, when you have cancer, Every cell goes through a natural process of what you call apoptosis. All right, so understand that. I'm just going through all of that just to get you to the point of how people have so little self-confidence and self-love and self-reliance. The things that they do. Okay, all right. Now, the, 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 the cancer literally begins from your DNA, your genetic material. So you cannot see it. So imagine that you have to come and a DNA is, is damaged and you have to go into the cell 
to actually take out that or, or fix up that DNA or, 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 or take out that, 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 that cell, I mean, it's almost virtually, I mean, impossible for you to go and look at cell by cell by cell by cell by cell to see how many of your cells are, 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 are cancerous, right? So then, when it is that that cell has gone through this genetic mutation, it, it has lost the capacity to, to, to go through what you call cell death, naturally programmed cell death or what you call apoptosis. So that cell doesn't die. So as the cell doesn't die, it grows. So from one cell to two cells, from two cells to four cells, from four cells to eight cells, from eight cells to 16 cells, from 16 cells to 42, 64, and it grows, 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 it grows until you, fi you, you feel a lump and you say you have a tumor. And they say, well, boop, they're going to cut out the tumor. Remember, you know, that problem did not begin from the mass. That problem is a genetic problem whereby you have had a genetic mutation within your cell resulting in the, when the cell is multiplying, whatever it is creating, it is creating an abnormal cell that has lost the capacity to actually die. All right? Now, very important. Then someone is going to tell you that. Understanding that, that a cancer occurs on a cellular level, someone is going to tell you that. Um, Santa, blessed love, give thanks. Bobo, bless, give thanks, honorable. Someone is going to tell you that, that when you have a cancer, you're going to have to cut it out. Cut out the cancer. But how are you going to be able to cut out the cancer? Dabrio Henry and Val Charles on Facebook. Blessed love. Give thanks for tuning in live with us. We give thanks for you being here with us. Give thanks for the love. Any questions you have on Facebook or on YouTube, definitely you could actually send it. K. Joe, how do you want to correct the function of the cell when damaged or functioning abnormally? I'm going to get to that. I'm going to get to that. Great question. That's the question. That's what you have to think about to to literally be able to to deal with the cancer all right okay now so then someone is gonna someone is gonna tell you that that the way to deal with that cancer is to go in and cut it out now number one just to see if a cell is malignant that means that it is cancerous Que opina sobre ese tema? ¿Qué tema? ¿Qué tema? Yo no sé qué estás hablando. Yo no sé qué. qué. Esa, esa pregunta no me entiendes. When it is that you look at the whole aspect of us as a people, the the fact that Someone is going to tell you that they're going to go in and cut out the cancer. And you know that the cancer is occurring on a cellular level. And even to see whether a cell is malignant or benign, it has to go through what you call a pathology lab. They must take what you call a biopsy, then stain it with a dye, put it underneath a microscope and, be, and analyze it to see whether or not that cell is, has a malignant tumor or whether that cell is all right. Okay? Now, understanding that, muy, muy, muy important. Then, if you have to go under a microscope, and not just any microscope, you have to stain the cells, add a chemical to it to see whether there are any specific changes within that cell that will hint to you that that cell there is malignant. It has, it's, a, it's, it's cancer. Then, how is it that you go, you, you're going to be able to go in with a knife and cut out that cell? Impossible. If you have to cut out the cancer effectively, you need a microscope and a stain to stain every cell. By the time all the cells dead. So that whole surgery thing to deal with cancer, this thing there is just... Disgusting, I would say. All right? And then now, you as a person, because of your lack of self-confidence, 
and you stop loving yourself and you've stopped relying on yourself, self-reliance, you're going to allow this person to go inside of you and cut out a piece of you. Not overstanding that, they are still going to leave millions and millions of cancer cells because they are not able to differentiate with the naked eye whether or not just next to where they cut has cancer cells or not. So they say, okay, all right. Because we are not sure that we have taken out all the tumors, we are going to give you radiation therapy. <gasps> okay. So then, that's supposed to take care of it. So, they are going to give you radiation therapy because you're not aware or you're not sure whether or not that whole cancer is gone. So they're going to radiate you. Now, mind you, mind you, mind you, radiation is the same thing that gives people cancer. Remember that, I'm telling you that because the type of things that people just do just because of a lack of self-confidence, Lack of self-love and self-reliance. Self when there was this natural disaster in, 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 um, in China. No, was China? Or Japan. Yeah. And then this nuclear power station got cracked up in this earthquake. The whole world was afraid of radiation. Even in the Caribbean. Even in the Caribbean, I remember the, uh, the, the seaweeds. We began to see lots and lots of seaweed actually coming into the Caribbean. Lots of seaweeds that were looking different than our normal seaweed that we were accustomed to. Everyone was afraid of even eating the fish that actually came from Japan. Why? Because they are afraid that it contains radioactive traces. So... If it is that, if it is that, we are so afraid of radiation because we know that radiation actually causes cancer. Why is it that? Why is it that you'd allow someone to radiate you? Why would you allow someone to radiate you? To pump you up, or burn you up with radiation? burn you up right in an effort to say well they're trying to save you so they cut up they cut out a piece of you but that doesn't take care of the problem so now they have to burn you okay all right well that should take care of it but no but no then they have to give you chemotherapy right chemotherapy now okay all right now chemotherapy is like a Concussion, a mixture, a mixture of different drugs, a cocktail of different drugs that are very cytotoxic. Cytotoxicity means that these drugs destroy cells indiscriminately. That means that no matter whether the cell is a good cell or whether the cell is a bad cell, that, I mean, the, the drug is going to kill it. That's why people on chemotherapy, their nails get black, their nails fall off, their hair fall off, their eyebrow fall off. They get skinny, 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 and then they die. Now, lack of self-confidence and self-love. Because we, we're not confident in the, in, in the knowledge of our ancestors. We don't love ourselves enough to actually take a time out to do what we need to do. And if someone says, brother, avoid eating this or avoid eating that. Wear protective clothing if you're going to do this. Nah, man. You either go now for somebody to cut off a piece of you, not understanding that millions of cancer cells are going to be left behind. That's why they say that 
you have a relapse after five years because it's impossible. It might take about five years for the cells to grow back all in, to this tangible or the palpable mass that, that it, it was there before, even bigger. So it is very important that as a people we really begin to appreciate love and understand that we allow people to do all manners of stuff. You know that if there is a chemotherapeutic a spill of the drug that they inject inside of you when, when, there is a, when you have cancer, that chemotherapy drug, if that falls on the floor in the hospital, the people have to wear double and triple protective clothing. You know, that, 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 that bad man, man, that, they're not supposed to touch their hands or in their eyes, goggles and things for their breath and cover their ears, cover their shoes, double and triple gloves just to deal with the drug that actually goes into someone's veins. Come on, man. So when we, find, when we overstand these things, it makes us wonder, why is it that people does allow themselves to actually go through all that torture that drama lack of self-confidence people don't don't believe anymore in what the ancestors say okay all right let me just answer some questions there just before i go on an intercession there okay and i will open up the lines too on on the national television so we could take some questions there also how do one correct the function of the cell when damaged or functioning abnormally you see Naturally, whenever a cell becomes abnormal, there are certain markers that come on that cell. And these markers now will trigger our immune system to attack these cells and destroy it. And produce also antibodies. Antibodies, right? So at any time in the future that, that, that a cell like that cell comes up within the physical structure, your immune system supposed to actually destroy it. So what we have to do to destroy the abnormal cell is to boost up our immune system and also to starve these cells. The majority of can cancer cells feed up on sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Now sugar is not only sucrose. Sugar is rice, flour, white bread, white potato, dashing, all these things that I just feel if starch. So the starchy foods now, or the sugary foods, that's exactly what actually feeds your cancer cell. So to prevent, first and foremost, to prevent having more abnormal cells, you starve them by stopping the high levels of sugar in your liver. And also you alkalize your physical structure by consuming lots of green juices like vervine, stinging nettle, marijuana, um, guinea hen weed, um, fit weed. Um, Spanish needle, semi contract, all them herbs there would actually help you, help you to actually prevent the abnormal cells from actually overtaking your good cells. Okay, all right. Next question. How do, okay, K O P N A S O B R E S E T E M A. Blessed love, honorable. Can we stop? slow erosion of the bones yes you can stop slow erosion of the bones by increasing you know your 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 input of cmos right and balancing the function of your thyroid the thyroid glands produce calcitonin that that is to help to to put more calcium in the bone and calcitriol and increasing calcitriol will cause um a, uh, a feeling of the bone because naturally this this, this hormone causes the bones to thin to release more calcium even your bloodstream Lots of CMOS, 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 great. Western medicine is so barbaric. Yes, it is cave age medicine. SMH, shake my head backwardness. Yes, it is. Honorable, usted pertenece a la EABIC. I see, como no, no lo vi. Hmm? Hmm? No? That's why they call me pre scale ash. Right? I'm the ambassador of St. Lucia. Okay, K. Joe. Lack of knowledge is one to premature demise. Well, I mean, lack of knowledge for sure, and lack of self confidence and self love and self reliance. We rely on a system that is bent on killing people. Mommy Stronger, Etienne, Blessed Love Priest, Give Tongues, Deep Rooted Kennels, God in Flesh, Doing God's Work, 
Bless brother, oh give thanks, honorable. Let your food be your medicine, your medicine, your food, of course. Definitely. So, at the end of the day, when it comes to night, we have to literally uplift ourselves. We have to, no, nobody's going to care about, the, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, it's a deliberate effort to actually kill people, you know, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are on 740 on the dot. We are going to take an intercession, and when you come again, we're going to continue. And bless the Lord. We are the bank of solution for every solution, building our future today. We are the bank of solution for every solution. With you every step of the way Always there for you Serving you and me The solution way We like family Always there for you Helping you and me B-O-S-L no say for me We are the Bank of St. Lucia For every solution Bank of St. Lucia All the bank you need It's not easy getting rid of these types of greases every day it's hard work, but if you really think about it, it's not really us doing the cleaning. At Atwell Daglish, we believe it's all about the product. Our extensive new line of ChemClean products are extremely concentrated, eco-friendly, effective, and guaranteed to make your life a whole lot easier. Whether you're cleaning at home, the office, or at industrial type spaces, when it comes to food-based solvents, sanitizers, cleaners, floor care, commercial machines, and dispensers for laundry care, let the product do most of the work for you. Introducing the best brands in the cleaning business from ChemClean. Limited, only available at Atwell Daglish. Hmm, wow, that got here in record time. Global Trade is about competence, customer service, built on a solid quality management system. Export is one way to grow your business. Come talk to the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards about getting on the international market. Call 453-0049, ask about certification and how it can bring you local and global success. SLBS, making quality and standards our way of life. Yes, we do give thanks for having a mighty life. Give the lines are open for 1758451939. 1758-453-1730. Give thanks to all of our people watching internationally. Give thanks for those in New York City. Give thanks for those in Germany. Give thanks for those in um, Portugal. I mean, I don't know where everybody else is from. But I mean, those I know. Give thanks for those people in St. Lucia also that's there for us. We definitely do give thanks for that. So, I mean, any questions you have now, you could ask your questions. The lines are open, and if you have a question, I mean, definitely we, we, we could actually answer a question for you. So, definitely, what we're looking at today is the whole aspect of self-confidence, and self-reliance, and self-love. Because people allow the system to actually do anything to them just because they have stopped loving themselves. And just because they have refused to take responsibility for their actions. Yes, Marisol Kola, blessed. Hello? Yes, blessed. Go ahead, I'm hearing you. Hello, yes. Good, good evening. Yeah, blessed sister. I would like to know what kind of um, food to eat if you want to um, build up your protein. Well, I mean, you said the thing about protein is that your physical structure needs a minute amount of proteins. And your body doesn't, it, it doesn't store excess proteins. Alright? So... Every single food that you consume contains protein. Every food. Every food. Because the great majority of food contains enzymes. And every enzyme is a protein. To the extent that if you consume too many pro too, uh, foods too, with too much proteins, what happens is that, what happens is that your physical structure just pee it out. That's why sometimes the urine smells so strong or foams so much or it looks so yellowish why because of a high quantity of proteins so we don't proteins every food contains proteins right so if you really 
feel like you need to boost up your proteins, you could probably use your chickpeas, your pigeon peas, them things that contains plenty of proteins. All your greens and all your fruits contains, everything contains proteins, yeah, because all, all the live foods contains enzymes. And because all enzymes are proteins, then definitely you don't have a need for that. CMOS also, lots of proteins in that. Okay? Give thanks. All right, and uh, let me see that right now there. Ma Mary Emmanuel, what is good for anemia as a kidney transplant patient? Red raspberry is very good. Red raspberry, very rich in iron. Okay, and it, it, it helps to alkalize the physical structure. You could blend it, and it, does not, it doesn't have as much potassium. You know, you know so you, you, it, it doesn't put that extra workload on the, on the kidney. Okay, so red raspberry leaves. Blend it, it, and drink it. Very good for the iron. Oh, and, oh, you understand? And don't eat the banana. Get the green banana, cut, the, cut it, right, and let the drops, the latex drop inside of it. It's very rich in iron also but not as much potassium, okay? All right. Is the russet potato a good starch for the body without all kinds of butter and stuff on it? Well, I mean, you see, the thing about it is that if you have to use them things, you have to use it with the skin on, all right? And then you have to, eat, you have to use it with plenty, plenty of vegetables. So at least you increase the insoluble and soluble fiber. So it doesn't really stay in your physical structure. It flows quickly. You don't give it a chance to actually form mucus. Mary Emmanuel, send in love. Give thanks for the love, honorable. I do give thanks sincerely for the divine love, the godly love, right? See, and even if you could see me, I cannot really see you. I could only see your name. So give thanks, Mary Emmanuel, for the love. Self-control and self-discipline is vital, but hard to achieve. That is trunk, but tranquility temple. You are tranquility temple, and you're telling me that's hard to achieve. You, I mean, you're supposed to be teaching us how to, how to do that tranquility temple. Come on. And let me, okay. See, tranquility temple is saying, from tranquility temple, self-control and self-discipline is vital, of course, but hard to achieve. Okay. After a lifestyle of bad choices, but you're supposed to learn from your bad choices, from your experiences. And that's where you go. Okay. It takes a mind made up and prayers to make changes. It takes knowledge. If you, you see, if you know that fire burns, right? If you, when you put your hand in the fire, you know fire burns, you, you put your hand in the fire, ouch, fire burns, you, you're going to put your hand in fire again. No, because you know that the fire actually burns. Knowledge, knowledge, read, study, 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 know. The more you know, the less bad decisions you actually make. Natasha Lake, oh, give thanks, honorable goddess, give thanks. Um, from St. Martin, blessed love, honorable, give thanks for the knowledge. Give thanks also for the eye, honorable. Give thanks. Adam Alfred, get, get those likes in people. Get those likes in people. Yes, Mary, give thanks. What would be good for lice? I mean, definitely what you could use for that is peppermint. Peppermint. Peppermint is good for that. Just do a strong peppermint tea and, and use it to wash your, yourself. Peppermint, peppermint, peppermint. A name and see contra. Deep rooted kernels. Brother, I'm having problem with letting the, de the dead grains go and meat. I feel weak when I don't consume this. Maybe I need more calories. You're an addict, deep-rooted kennels. I mean, come on, man. I, I thought you were already over. So all the time you, you look at our program, man, you're still doing that? Oh, man, come on, man. I can't believe that, man. I can't believe you still eating dead animals. Oh my goodness. No. You, you must be just joking, right? I mean, if you think that you are weak, cleanse out yourself, you know, and, and start fasting. You know, fasting so you could actually allow your physical structure to, to balance itself off, right? So definitely just take it easy now, man. Um, it's, it's over what? It's almost, it's like 20 years since I don't eat dead animals, man. I don't feel weak. And I feel strong. Give thanks. I listening from London. How do we clean our arteries so there is no dark veins don't appear on the skin? You could use what, what, what you call um, Japana and also you could use carpenter bush. You could also use your turmeric and you use lots of things like hemp seeds, ganja seeds, um, flax seeds, avocado, coconut. 
all the things with sol um, soluble fibers on medium chain fatty acids and also high density lipoprotein that actually breaks down the cholesterol and all these things from the arteries and actually brings it in, into your intestines where you, you poop it out and also you know lots of exercise 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 and bring down your weight all right stop dead animals deep with the canals i'm almost done okay all right give thanks give thanks give thanks all right okay good to know that you are on the journey tranquility temple what are sour soap leaves dry ones and tea good for and how to prepare it it's a it's a very good sedative it makes you rest make you make you rest okay it's very good for insomnia so if it is that you you cannot rest you take about you start with three you go to five you go to seven you go to nine you go to 14 you go to 21 if you have to based upon how severe your situation is it's also very good as a um, prophylactic treatment of developing cancer. One seven five eight four five one nine three four nine one seven five eight four five three one seven three zero. Our Saint Lucian callers, man. What, what happened to you? Okay, all right. Yes. Um, any more calls, questions? Um, YouTube, love yourself. Definitely. You don't allow someone to tell you that you have to be taking drugs for the rest of your life. Don't make anyone come and put you down on a table and knock you out and have you literally on 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 on, on gas and literally. Right, literally, literally, right, keeping you alive under a machine, okay, just, just to go into you and cut out a piece of you. I mean, deadly, man. What kind of thing is that? What kind of thing is that? Love yourself, love yourself, love yourself. Don't make anyone pump up your, your, your veins and your arteries, right? What? Don't make anyone do that. With we, we, chemotherapeutic drug, then put it, put it in their arms first and then put it in you. Okay, see how they'll run. All right? Okay. What remedy can I take for fatty liver? Stop eating dead animals. All right? And also, you could use what you call Cassia Alata, king of the forest. But the name is Cassia Alata. That's a scientific name. King of the forest. Very good. Yes, Mary Emmanuel. I had that. I don't know what you had. What, sour soap? Okay, all right. So definitely, we do give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. We are 748. We have a good amount of time. You spent two years on life support? Oh my goodness. Give thanks that you are here with us today. Right? I mean, give thanks for you are here with us today and give thanks you could have actually gone through that process and still be here. To God be the glory. You know, great things he have done, you know. So love is the word that he, he kept Mary Emmanuel alive for two years on life support that she could have blessed us today. Give thanks for being here with us. One seven five eight four five one nine three four nine or one seven five eight four five three one seven three zero. Remember that our 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 live lessons on YouTube um, is still going on, and those of you who actually you know um, want to to follow on, remember to get your copy of the Herbal Manual right on Amazon or on our website preskillash.com preskillash.com. Get a copy of the Herbal Manual. Definitely the Matrix of Herbal Medicine. All right, definitely you could get that. The doctors cut me and I had kidney transplant. Oh my goodness. Tired of the pills. I need to come one day. We give thanks, King. What does promote energy in the daytime? Um, sea moss. Or, you know, just blend like one banana, a handful of walnuts, three tablespoons of soaked sea moss, right? Two cupfuls or three cupfuls of of coconut milk, the natural one, you blend it, you strain it, and you use it. Great, excellent. Full of energy, right? Or you could put a piece of cocoa in it. Cocoa, the natural 100% cocoa. That I would recommend. Cocoa tea. Mm -hmm. Dite caco, muy bien. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. All right, that you could use anytime. All right, um, Chattel Thomas. Where can we find these herbs that you are mentioning? Well... They grow wild in St. Lucia. I mean, red raspberry grow wild in America and also in England. Um, the Japan, are, most of these things are in, in tropical areas. If you need something, you could actually send us an email, prescalash.com. On prescalash.com, send us an email or send us an email at prescalash at gmail.com. That's prescalash at gmail.com. Prescalash at gmail.com. Definitely, you could do that and, and we could actually... Um, send the, whatever herbs you need, we could send that for you. All right? Um, 
Give many thanks, King Rastafari. Give thanks, Honorable. Heart of Love. I, I. Celestia, I, Ja. Rastafari. Yes. Remember that we have the male package and the female package also available on our website. And also for those of you here in St. Lucia at Liberty Foods on Jeremy Street, the male package and the female package, these things there are definitely available. That is used to actually clean out your physical structure and also boost up your physical structure. So definitely go on prescalash.com and you could order right now or tomorrow or day after whenever that you're ready. Yes, I, if, if that's all the question, I feel like you're telling me it's time for me to go now. Is that what you're telling me? I mean, it's 7.46. You know, I still have about 14 minutes, and you're telling me that you have no questions. You, you've, you've learned everything that you could learn tonight, so I think that, that it's a job well done. Okay, all right. What herbs do you recommend for me now? I am on immunosuppressants. Marijuana. Use a steam pipe or a chalice, or do the green juices. Very good. It helps to actually settle the body, your physical structure. Okay? Yes, we do give thanks for life and a mighty life given. We give thanks, definitely, for all those people who have been with us and asking questions. I mean, anyone else who want any more, quest who have any more questions, right, definitely, you could actually ask more questions. One seven five eight four five nine four five one eight four nine. My Lord, I lost your number. Send it back to me, Chad Jimmy. Oh, where is it, my Lord? Give thanks. How things are in London? You know, I, I mean, definitely. You know, we are in service right now, Chad Jimmy. I'm just here. When I'm done, I go into service. Marcus Gavi's service from eight o'clock until Priest Isaac had a wonderful lecture that just completed and service just start again. Yeah, Chad Jimmy. It's one seven five eight two eight five five one nine five. Yeah, uh, five eight. Blessed, blessed love. Yeah, blessed love and rebel. Yes, sir, it's the last day. Rastafari. Um, can man get yeast infection? Yeah. And how could you know if a man get yeast or he, uh, if he has it? Well, what would happen is that? It? Um, I listen to you on um, your program. Okay. Are you? Yeah, give thanks. Blessed yes, Lord, of course, man get yeast infection because it's, it's a fungus. It's candida albicans. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, Jimmy. It's one seven five eight two eight five five one nine five. One seven five eight two eight five five one nine five. That's my number, Judge Jimmy. All right, peace and blessings, Baba Shepherd. Yeah, man get yeast infection, and how you know is that, right? Um, even if you a little one hour or so after you bathe and thing, or before you bathe, if you you you'll, you'll you'll see a lot of a whitish film over the the glands of the penis, and when you wipe it off, the penis will be very very sensitive, and even it it'll be very easy. Very easy for you to get scars and bruises during sexual intercourse. Why? Because of that. All right. So you could use. Um, we have the dewormer. You could use. You have the answer. You could use, and also keep it dry. You could use the the castor oil, if some cannabis oil mixture, and and also stop eating too much starchy, starchy, starchy foods, and stop running around. All right. Better you just try to be as um, faithful as possible. Okay. I, in London, first time listener of live stream, blessed love, oh, give thanks, honorable. Chattel Thomas, thank you, blessed love, king, give thanks. Yes, Judge Jimmy, give thanks, my lord. What are the benefits of using a bong or chalice compared to use a rolling paper or tobacco leaf? Tobacco leaf and anything that is poison, no, man, you can't use anything there. Anything, like any, any, or paper, them, you, know how much, you know how much people, they kill them paper and them glue and all them things they put on these papers, right? What you have to do specifically, anytime you burn paper, Okay, take for instance, if you take a thousand of the, okay, if you take a hundred of them rolling papers and you smoke it, what happens to you? You cough. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you could die. If you, if you burn a, a room full of that paper and you stay inside of that vapor, it kills you. So one would affect you the same way, right? The chalice actually provides like a, resp like a respiratory system. So when you pull the chalice, <laughs> yes, Sufra Kala, blessed. Yeah, blessed love. Honorable. Yeah, man. Good I just time. wanted to rely on, well, just say, you know, that people lie to themselves, you know, and that's a big, big problem, you know, because God never tell one lie, you know. Give thanks. In the whole history from beginning of creation up to now, you know, God never tell one lie. So I just wanted to express that feeling there, you know. Give thanks, Thank Honorable. You, At a love. As a man said, people lie to themselves, okay? 
the light to yourself, love yourself, self reliance. Oh, that's why you're lying. You read lying. Okay. Self read not lying then. Okay, all right. Now, so what we're looking at now is the chalice. The chalice provides like a respiratory system, like a lung. So when you draw from the chalice, remember that remember the herb goes in a in a clay pipe. Alright, so earth. So and then now the bamboo that it fits up on goes through water. So when you pull the chalice, what happens? It, it bubbles as the smoke goes through the water and the tar and it, and, and it gets cooled. And when you go in, right, it cools off. The, 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 the smoke takes off the ash, takes off the tar, and then you have THC in the form of clouds and CBDs. You have you for the color, blessed? Blessed Rastafari. Blessed and honorable. Give Rastafari. Rastafari. Yes, I. Rastafari. Yes, I. Okay, that's... Yeah, my lord. Yeah, man. Give thanks for your good lecture, you know. Give thanks, honorable. Love, Yeah, man. man because I've been taking that into, you know, all last year. And I've, and I've been working for I and I. Give thanks, man. You know, now I heard you mention something last Sunday there about the Kalkan. What it's really good for? Kalkan is an aphrodisiac. Yeah, it helps a man get a better erection and also oh. it helps the urinary system. I agree, I agree. Okay? Yeah, man, kill us. Give thanks, my lord. Yeah, man, keep the fire burning, man. Yeah, man, fire burning, yeah, man. Guidance. Love, man. Yeah, man, one Give love. Thanks. Honor Rasta. What type of chalice do you recommend? I recommend the coconut chalice. Right? Coconut chalice. And if you want chalice, we could ship chalice to you wherever you are in the world. Right? Sweet 758. Oh, must be from St. Lucia. Blessed love, I have a lot of seed on the leaf at home. What is the best way to use it and what is it for? Seed on the leaf is called a stone crusher, the master to remove kidney and gallbladder stone. You could blend it and do a green juice or you could make a tea with it. Good for the urinary tract, very good diuretic, bring down the blood pressure and the blood sugar levels. All right, love. And still recall a blessed. Blessed love. Honorable, blessed, give thanks. Could you please tell me if you will be getting palm oil anytime soon? Um... Elder, you are there? Yes, yes, that's me. <laughs> I'm looking at you right on the TV. Give thanks, man. <laughs> Last time, I, I, I think it was day before yesterday, I passed you on the road, you know. Oh, you did? I, and I, I, and I was look, looking at your... I said, look at this, this man's face. He's so calm. <laughs> I never see a man driving a, a bus so calm. <laughs> He's so calm, man. Oh, okay, well, thanks, thanks to, your, to, your, to your prescriptions. Give thanks, man. Um, just, and, um, just try, try, um, I'll try my best to get you some, okay? Oh, yeah. Give thanks. So oh. when should I come in and check with you? I'll try my best to. Just call me on 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 my on, on my number probably um on Tuesday or so. Let me see. Very well. Okay, beloved. Give Take thanks. care. I will do just that. Love, man. Oh man, thank you very much. Give thanks. Thank Give you very thanks. much. Love. Good. That's my elder brethren there, man. A very loving man, man. I love this man. He's been with us for so long. Blessed love. I, okay, all right. And I thank you so much for your information. God bless you and your family. Oh, give thanks, Honorable Diani. Shabby King. King Celestia Children, keep up the great roles. Give thanks, Honorable Hatha Love. Give thanks for all those of you who have been tuning in tonight. Give thanks for those of you who have been calling. Definitely, we are just on the ocean sailing. Homeward bound, we swiftly, we swiftly glide. All the trials will soon be over. Soon we'll be anchored at the harbor. Holy Manuel, I Rastafari. So give thanks, definitely, as we are coming down, as the program basically is coming down to the end. And we give thanks to all those of you who have been with us tonight, who have actually called, who have actually communicated through the YouTube. Oh, Jasmine, Joseph, blessed love. I mean, give thanks for joining us. I mean, you are you late, Jasmine? You must have been busy at work. Eh? Jasmine, I think Jasmine has made work her first love. Eh? Jasmine, you have to take out work as that first love. And make yourself your... I mean, you, you, you come in so late, you're blessing the priest up on the program. Huh? Oh, my goodness. It's good to hear from you, honorable sister. Blessed love. Give thanks. I, King Jarasta, for a tranquility temple... Thank you so much for that. As you said, education and knowledge is the key that unlocks the power of the, the health to health, healing and wholeness. Definitely, you know, self-love, self-reliance, self-confidence, you know, actually leaning on, the, on that anchor 
that anchor that our ancestors have actually set for us over the years. I mean, I do give thanks for that, um, that anchor that my grandmother actually set for me. It was definitely a blessing, right? Give thanks for all, all those lovely people who were with us tonight. Mary Emmanuel, give thanks for all you do, honorable. I appreciate. You don't appreciate me, appreciate, love me, right? So give thanks for appreciate, loving the works that we are doing, definitely. And we glorify Selassie Chapel. Give thanks for the information and insp inspiration. Give thanks. Right now, you have to expire it, meaning that you have to create it. You have to take it in and then create, all right? Use it to become a better person. Give thanks all love and prosperity. Peace divine. Remember that we are working on selling, you know, uh, over, uh, over a million copies of our herbal manual so at least people could be more empowered and know exactly what herb that they have to utilize. So make sure you go on prescalash.com, get your copy of, of the herbal manual and also on Amazon, get your copy of the herbal manual and encourage a friend to get a copy of the herbal manual. Remember YouTube, subscribe it. You don't have to like it, just subscribe it. Right, so at least when we are live, you could know when we are live streaming and tick on the bell so when we are doing our live lessons, you could know that we are here with you so you could definitely learn live as we go through. And because uh, you know, these days we do the live lessons and we stream, all right. So, all, all love and prosperity, all those of you who call us from St. Lucia, give thanks for the calls, all my beautiful people. Celestia Chapel, give thanks, Mary Emmanuel, give thanks, Tranquility Temple, give thanks, I. From London, give thanks. Honorable, my beloved sister there, Jasmine Joseph, give thanks. Shabby King, give thanks. Diane, give thanks. Sweet 758, give thanks. Just say, yeah. Prophet Jimmy, give thanks, my Lord. Mary, Barbara, give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Give thanks. Bibbs Augustine Saltibus says, blessed love. Thanks or oh, give thanks, honorable. Um, Miss Augustine, give thanks for the love from Facebook. We do give thanks. Give thanks, Adam. Give thanks, Honorable Institution, Education, Comunidades, Rastafari, Unidos. Give thanks. Tranquility Temple, Deep Red Canals. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks, give thanks. Natasha Lake, I pray you're still there. At a love, beloved sister. Give thanks for your continued love. Give thanks. I'm just saying give thanks. Kejo, give thanks. Bobo, give thanks. Jojo, give thanks. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. And all those I have not said give thanks to, just give thanks. All right? Okay, what's that? Da, 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 da. Okay, Natasha, I guess I blessed love, Mario Spain. Blessed love, give thanks. Give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks for all the love. All those of you who actually have been with us. Give thanks and all those of you who continue to be with us. Remember, visit our website, prescalash.com, Amazon, get the herbal manual, make sure you order it, right? For you, for your for entire family, make sure. And don't, when, you, when you order it, don't, don't, don't give it to anyone who say, oh, can I um, I'm have that for a day? I want to. No, don't give it to anyone. Keep it for yourself. Tell them to order it also. Give them the link that they could order it also. Give thanks, give thanks, give thanks. Heart of love to all of you. Remember, prescalash.com. Our international number is 1758722 We're not WhatsApping again. I mean, when you WhatsApp, too many people try to. Uh, okay, all right. Just pay a little more and call the priest. Pling, pling, pling. Yeah, priest. John Desi, give thanks for you and your ministry. Give thanks, honorable heart of love. Definitely. 1758722 You could call that. And 1758451 You could call that also. That's our landline office number. Our email is prescalash at gmail.com. That's prescalash at gmail.com. The website is just prescalash.com. P-R-I-E-S-T spells priest. P-R-I-E-S-T spells priest. Kailash is K-A-I-L-A-S-H dot com. P-R-I-E-S-T K-A-I-L-A-S-H dot com. That's our website and our Gmail is priestkailash at gmail punto com. So give thanks again, love and prosperity, peace divine. Be almighty God bless and keep you and make his holy face upon your holy face. Bless and love, give thanks, heart of love. Love, 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 love. love. Yes, peace and bless and love, guidance.
this summer. Get ready, set for school with the Educator or Educator Plus loan from the St. Lucia Civil Service Cooperative Credit Union. No more back to school stress. The Educator loans will take care of everything you need, including school fees, materials, and supplies. Up to $10,000 for primary and secondary students and up to $20,000 for young adults with affordable payments for up to four years. Call or visit us for more information today. The Educator and Educator Plus loan only at the St. Lucia Civil Service Cooperative Credit Union. Save and borrow with pride. Terms and conditions apply. Hmm. Wow. That got here in record time. Global Trade is about competence, customer service, built on a solid quality management system. Export is one way to grow your business. Come talk to the St. Lucia Bureau of Standards about getting on the international market. Call 453-0049, ask about certification and how it can bring you local and global success. SLBS, making quality and standards our way of life. What makes a great sign? Simplicity, creativity, huge and loud, small and quiet. At Excel Sign, we help clients all over St. Lucia create the perfect sign for their business needs. Our printing takes place right here with state-of-the-art machines to get the job done at the highest quality. We specialize in a wide variety of pilot signs, vehicle wraps, channel letters, billboards, 3D letters, and lots more. Designed to have high visibility, longer life, and great value. Call or visit Excel Sign today and find out how we can help your business express itself. Excel Sign, taking signs further. The truth is, small islands like us do very little to cause climate change. 